What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Empty here. Welcome to you back to some more Saga Lock. And honestly, this right here is a very important episode. Obviously, every episode is important in their own manifest. But this one, might you say, could be more important than some of the rest of them. Because in this episode, we are taking on the sixth gym leader, Gordy. <sighs> And here's the thing about Gordy, right? Gordy is the final gym leader that is a single battle that has Dynamaxing involved. Raihan we knew was going to be an issue and a problem, but that's also because it's a double battle. There's a completely different focus. It just feels very crazy that we're kind of sitting here going to fight Gordy. Um, so let's go ahead and give you guys a team recap because I think things did change. It might have been from my backup pairs um, more so because I was able to train up my backup pairs to get them all set up while we were trying to get Gordy. Because the level cap for like fighting Gordy, we're going to try and be at 45 for Gordy, which is nice. But we have Whale About with our lovely adamant nature, cute charm ability, with ancient power, physicist rend, lands wrath, and lava plume. Then we have Tarant with the bold nature. Is that bold or is that lonely? Bold, I was right, look at that. With shadow claw, drop kick, sacred fire, and spore. We have fruition, Lulu Nala, with, uh, that's lonely. With Spectro Thief, Shadow Ball, v Rising Voltage, and Waterfall. Now, Lunala had the opportunity to learn Mist Ball, which is Stab Psychic. But when I was really thinking about it, what does Psychic have, um, like, in the positive, in a positive manner? And I, when I looked at it, and when I thought about it, I was like, okay, it's super effective against fighting, yes. But... Is it really better than Rising Voltage or Waterfall? No. I, I, I like those better than the 5 PP Mist Ball. Um, so that could be a decision that bites me in the butt, but that's the decision I chose to make. And then we have Spoopy with Poltergeist as an ability, King's Rock, Shell Armor, or uh, Shell Armor as an ability, King's Rock with Poltergeist, Energy Ball, Kunk Shot, and Guav Apple. You had the opportunity to learn Seed Bomb, right? But Guava Apple's a better Seed Bomb. No reason to have that. Then we have Tawant with Steel Worker holding the Utility Umbrella with Spore, Strength Sap, Drum Beating, and Grassy Glide. And lastly, we have Yay with Heat Wave, Shell Sidearm, Sparkling Aria, and Lands Wrath. That is the way the team is situated. We got our healing items. We have 20 Hyper Potions. And... Yeah, let's get the show on the road. I'm honestly excitedly nervous is a great way to put it. I'm excited to see the fact that we are headed into this gym. Um, level 45 is where we need to get level-wise, which is great because we're nearly there. Hi, Mr. Hopadoodle. We get to fight him afterwards as well. I lost. It all went to pot. There must have been something wrong with my strategy, but I did just see what... But I did just what I've seen Lee do in battles. Here, take it. It's the Rock Gym Leaders League card. You should check it out. You'll have to face... You'll have to face Gordy as well. I know this. I'm aware. And me? I've got to figure out what to put on my team once and for all, and there will be no more doubting. I mean, I think it's really just you, buddy. <laughs> I feel bad. I've slandered Hop this entire way, but it makes so much sense. Like, Hop has kind of deserved it a lot. We got the Moon Ball. Um, I forgot what that did. I'll be completely honest. I don't remember what that does. Uh, a ball that is easier to catch Pokemon evolving with a Moonstone. Why we needed that? I, I, I genuinely don't know, but okay. I'm not going to complain about it. It's just not what I was expecting. Also... 
Oh, this is for wait, what? There's an ice we can get a we can just buy some of this stuff. Can we put on some stuff? I don't want to buy stuff. All the gyms that aren't in the um actual game here. No, I I don't want to shop. Shopping is not what I wanted to do. No, I want to put on clothes. Can I do that in here, maybe? No. I don't know. I, I'm just going to stick with the normal then. <laughs> I'm not buying freaking uniforms. No. Even though there could be some great drip involved and, you know, I might as well, but still. No. If anything, I'd buy the. I'd ha, I have. We have three grass types. I would. I would be wearing the grass type uniform, or the poison one for yay. But realistically, it would be going for the grass type uniform because, well, we have three grass types. We've been utilizing them very well throughout this entire playthrough. I don't know. Would you like to hear the mission? Uh, this Jim's mission. Then allow me to explain. This is a trap detector. Hold your hands. The reason you need it is simple. There are invisible pitfalls everywhere in here. If you fall into one, you'll have to start all over again from the last platform that you've reached. The director will vibrate when there's a pitfall in front of you. The closer the hole, the stronger the vibration. Good luck. Now. Got it. Okay. Now we are. This is another one of those where Sword does a great job of making sure you fight all of the gym or all of the people, which is great. That is again one thing that I will pride Sword and Shield on is a lot of things. You're fighting the people, and you have to go through the motions of the gym. Again, that's one of the biggest things that I can say in a positive light for Sword and Shield is they do make you do things, which is great. Um, I'm gonna go with the defensive mon. I think that's a, the better idea. Um, and then we just hit it with, um, you know, would have been better to switch into spoopy. But it's, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> Questioning myself is just going to get <clears throat> become problematic. Um, you know what? Yeah. Questioning myself is just problematic. I could have put it to sleep, but I be firmly believe that we'll be okay. I think that has been one development in Sword and Shield that has made this experience a lot more interesting. Because I think in this variant, you can see that I'm comfortable and that I'm trying not to second guess or make the bad decision by second guessing. And that form of comfortability is nice. I don't know why this became comfortability, but okay. Wrong way. That's a big wrong way. Oh, still the wrong. No. What? Must be this way then. Yep, it totally is this way. Cool. Platform one completed. That's it. That's the ticket. Take a deep breath and focus. What was that an item? No, they wouldn't stack into the gym. Never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. Don't like it. Don't trust that. Definitely don't trust that. Okay, let's continue walking all the way over here. No. Oh, we can just continue straight from that. Oh, that's also also a blockade. Oh, there's a lot more blockading. Nah. Okay, keep going straight. Let's 
going straight is the bad way. Crap. Okay. This one's being a lot more complicated than the other ones were. This is interesting. Can I avoid? I have a feeling I can't avoid. Oh. No, I couldn't. Dang. I was going to say, I was like, there's no way that I can avoid. Rock types really, really, really are amazing. No, they aren't. But, you know, you can say that. And, I mean, you're going to beat my butt for saying it, but it's fine. Hi, Malamar. We've been seeing you a lot lately. We don't have a bug type for you, so could you just nod and say we did? That'd be great. That would be so much better, but... I don't know what I want to hit you with. I'm going to go with Land's Wrath because I'm not faster. Skill swap. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, Gordy is male. we got to remember that. Why is that pertinent information? It's because that I can actually go ahead and use Whale About as a uh, cute charm. Or to try and get cute charm off on Whale About. So yeah, got to remember that. Magic Room, that's fine. Magic Room does something. And I don't remember what. <laughs> oh, Hell Items lose their effects. Oh, so that made it, that actually saved her. It literally did. I knew it. I was like, that actually saved him. Good job. Okay, well, we'll level plume. Snarl hits. But that doesn't matter because... Oh my gosh, that was a CRIT. No. We don't deal with CRITs. CRITs are DEADs. No. No CRITs. Gotta get that finger wag in there. I'm not allowed to see your IT. Kiara, Kiara, just leave. No, you're not allowed to. If you if you cheat by CRITs, then you're just not good enough. Okay, that's how it is. Just sorry, but that's personally how it is. Do not CRIT. Honestly, that's something we haven't been getting much of, except for literally when we needed not to get it. But you know, <laughs> that's besides the point. Um, okay. I'm assuming it's not gonna let us. Yeah, I knew it. Gosh, dang it. It's gonna try and force me to fight this dude. Oh, it totally is gonna force me to fight this dude. Yep. Damn. I was really hoping it wouldn't. Gordy's such an amazing person. Yeah, I bet, Oliver. I bet. You and your Zatu. Okay. Zatu's not a problem. I can just ancient power and then just end, not end the thing, but definitely puts me in a good position. Oh, especially if you're going to do that. I'm okay with that. Can you do that all the time, please? Like, just hit Stealth Walk like 30 times so I can have time for Will About to just wail about. Omni? No, we're not going to get the Omni. Um, and we were not faster because Will About's pretty slow. Uh, we just Ancient Power another two times and we're okay. Yeah, that's about exactly what I saw. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to take that opportunity. For a second, I thought we we, we did get it. <laughs> I was like, we got it. It didn't matter because it's still taking an extra hit. But I'm going to take the opportunity to use Facetious Red now. Why not? Because the Q Charm activated. There was no reason not to take that opportunity, that, that chance. So. Well, about level 44. We should probably put Tarot in front now. I don't want to, though. That's the thing. I mean, for the gym leader, maybe, but well, that's doing just fine. Ah. Course. <laughs> if I recall, the next one's actually a really big toughy, too. Might get it hit harder now that you can't see as well. Yep. Uh, that's what I. This is what I remember. <laughs> now, then you now you have to actually go on complete intuition. No rubbing your eyes. That's cheating. Okay. This seems like 
Okay, we got that. There should be a trainer up ahead. No hesitation. Only choices to move forward. Yep. I tried. <laughs> I tried to avoid it. It didn't work. But we're still on the platform. Wendy. What is Wendy going to check out of this? An Eldegoss. Oh, well, that's an automatic swap. Unless it has Arena Trap, which we don't know that yet, but that's fine. But yeah, automatic swap. Into whom, though? Ah, uh, Tarant. This is the Tarant fodder we needed. Uh, quite frankly, uh, this is this was the Tarant fodder we were looking for. Forest Curse. I mean, it's not going to work, because we're already Grass-type. Ha ha ha. Also, why do you choose Forest Curse against a... L why would you actively... Ow. Why would you... Okay, and now I gotta swap again. I don't like that. Um, I really don't like that at all. Um, I guess that's where we have to send in Yay. Because there's no Sandstorm about, or else it would have said something. So it's not affecting the battles themselves. Uh, I'm just gonna sell Shell Sidearm and just attack. Go on the offense. Uh, we didn't get the poison either. Uh, now we're apart. I see why you're force cursing now, and I don't like it. Because this will make it do double damage. And you did 36. So that's 72. Times one and a half. That's another 36. Which would be 108. Ooh. We are faster, though. I don't know why I did that calculation. Me. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to again. No, no, you're not, actually. There's a thing called speed, and Eldegoss does not have that, so you're fine. I mean, I guess, here's the thing, though. I complain about myself being stupid, quote, quote, and then you think about it, and you're like, really? But is that stupid? No, you're playing it. You're trying to figure out a way to play it safe if you need to, and... Like, stupid is different. Stupid would be like, oh, I don't... Uh, stupid, I don't know. I don't know how to define that word. Pfft. Reckless, I guess. Safe and reckless is the better way to put it. I was being safe rather than trying to be reckless because recklessness was just not what I was going to be about. We can climb over this. That's up, that's up ahead. Oof, that's a big pitfall. Okay. Trying to get to Gordy is not easy. Which is literally what it said it was going to be. But. Crap. You don't rush through.
There we go. Okay. So, now it's healing time if we haven't done it already, which we did. Um, what do I trust ends up being the question, and I said it before, and I'm going to say it again. I trust Toronto right now. Toronto is the one that I trust in the lead position. You did wonderfully. No, I didn't, but it's fine. <sighs> Big hopes that we get, like, a grass-type lead that I can... I mean, grass-type lead would be perfect anyways for, like, anybody except for Whaleabout, but... Hey, Gordy. Hey there, the name's Gordy. I admit I feel a little bit bad for doing this to a, or do a gym challenger, but I'm gonna use this match to show the crowd that my Pokemon are unbeatable. So let's get this challenge over with. Mm. One thing about Gordy that I do remember is that he does have... It's so crazy. The gym music is like literally five decibels higher than the actual music, but it's fine. <sighs> what are you leading off? Like I said, I want a grass-type lead. Can you give me that grass-type lead? Meow stick. We made a good lead choice. We trusted our gut, and it was a good lead choice. Again, with us trusting our gut and making good decisions. We, we need to do that a lot more. We have had struggles with that, and that's something that I've wanted to correct in 2023. And again, here we are. That I went with my gut. My gut told me to do this. I, I mean, speaking of things, going with my gut, I should probably check my Mark Madness bracket, because before the events of today, or yesterday for you guys, um, literally it was in the top 90%. Just by going with my gut and knowing no thing about freaking college basketball. So, again, we're out here. We want to go with our gut. We want to do things. We want to make strides. I mean, there's been a there's a couple of series that you guys are going to come up with here in the next couple. Like, I'm kind of... It's, they're in the frameworks. Where it's entirely new. Entirely brand new. Where things that I'm going to have to actually think about. And wonder how. And all that stuff. So... Going with my gut is going to be a big thing. So again, my gut led me to the right spot again. And now, now that my gut's led me there, now I'm going to need my brain to do the work here. Okay. Ooh. That could have been bad. But we led with the greatest lead that we could have. Okay, Toronto. Good job. Experience points. Get them. Knock them out. We can got this. Gothitelle. Really? That's two for two. We can actually put this to sleep, too. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I have the ability to put this thing to sleep. Why would I not? Should be faster, too. No, I'm not. Oh crap. I was not ready for that. What the? That's not the right image. Wow, I, I have Gen 6 images up. That's not, that's just, that's not the right one. There you go. That's still not the right one. What the frick? Do I not have an empty one of this? 
No, I guarantee you I do. What the fudge? What the heck? There we go. That's the boy we're looking for. Oh crap. Um Eruption. I guess we gotta go with this. I got I got overconfident. And uh there's always a thing that will take you down a notch. Always. Regardless of what you're thinking of. There's always going to be something that takes you down a notch. I mean, to be fair, it same thing could have happened to Lunala with like a, a dark type attack, but... Uh, Tarant's gun. Tarant doesn't need that. I'm rolling my eyes because it's like all of these ghosts, like things that are weak to ghost. The problem is with the Sidui, I can't just be like, yeah, here you go, Mr. Sidui. Have this. I'm going to go into Spoopy. Oh, that's a toughie. I mean, to be fair, regardless, I think that we die even if we're full health. But. I would have never expected an eruption. I'll be 100%. I would never expect an eruption. A eruption kills a lot of things. Especially with the psychic type being on the board. Uh, Poltergeist is super effective, but I don't know if it'll hit. Is the problem. I'm going to play it safe. I've got to play it safe from here on out, I think. Personally. Hey, still, that's a big toughie. Because it's like, what do I do to replace Tarant? Or how, in, in, in what world do I replace Tarant? Like, what could be beneficial or what could be an add to our team that we don't have currently? Seeking. Oh my gosh, another thing. This could have been Tarant's gym. This really could have been Tarant's gym. It, it so could have been, but the game said, fuck you, no. That's four for four. Four for four. That's tough. To be four for four, I swear if it's five for five. It very well could go five for five here. Pos five of five. Five for five. Are you kidding me? It literally could have been Toronto's gym. It, it could have been. My gut wasn't wrong. I wasn't wrong. That's the problem that I'm having. I definitely made the right call. That's five straight mons. Boom. Gone. 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 Trop kick. Can't do anything to me anyway. And if you can, minus one attack. Ugh. That's super rough. Coaching. But it failed. Okay, that's. I'm glad it failed. That would have been really stupid to use. I if we're six for six, dude. If we're actually six of six, dude. If we're actually six of six. Okay, we're not. <laughs> All I'm thinking about this a little bit. It's also not the mod we want to see either. 
We're not six of six. Which again, cannot. I'm not. I'm not mad about that. Well, flying and steel. Is this where we send an EA and hope to God everything's okay? Or do we send in Will about and be safer? I am going to go with... Let's try and take advantage of Cute Charm. Gordy has men. The special attack is 80. Comparative to 93. Ooh, that's a difference. Physical defense at 101. Uh, definitely less tanky. Here's the thing, though. That if it hits and Q-Trap activates, it comp again, it's another complete neutralizer. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go for that and hope that we get the complete neutralizer. Less tanky for sure, but... Not yet. I'm not crumbling to dust just yet. We will... We can still battle. Oh, boy. I need... Oh, that's nasty. I need to get either a burn from Lava Plume or Cute Charm or both. That's that we have two big positive things heading into our favor. If we can get one of the two, then we'll be set in a good position. One of these has to go our way. Flutterby. Okay, that's that's bug. Can we activate our cute charm, please? That's lowering our special attack too, which sucks. We didn't get the cute charm. And we didn't get the burn. We got neither percentages. Oh. If you're gonna try and hit us with max flutterby though, this is where I would hundred percent switch to yay. There's no reason not to. Resisted. If you want to waste your Dynamax trying to debuff Yay, that's fine. Because Shell Side Armor just attacks physically. Oh no! Red the Swamp. Oh, I can't even use Shell Side Armor. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, our Heat Wave went first. Burn? Nope. The defense is what's happening right now. That's what they're he's going for. His Gendamax is over, though. And this is where I take my opportunity to heal and see what actual move is being used here. It felt like Metal Claw damage. Or Steel Wing or something like that. Oh, fun. Okay, I'm going to heat wave and hopefully that ends the battle. This should end the battle now. Yay. Yay, we
we can't be doing that. You are so lucky that hail stopped. You are so gosh dang lucky that hail stopped. That's not even going to be enough to fully heal you now. Oh, that miss was critical. I can't I can't go risk another one. One on one. One oh two. That's okay. You better hit this. You cannot miss two in a row. That's a dead corp night. Well, this episode didn't necessarily go as planned. And now we gotta figure out what we're adding to the team in lieu of our, our death here. And I wasn't really planning on that happening, obviously. And um, yeah, so that's great. Ugh. Rock Tomb. That's not even. That's not even that great. Honestly, this game did not give out very good teams. That was actually. It's been. It was actually ridiculous. Here's the rock uniform. Yeah, that I can't even wear. Slash, don't know where to get it, but. Let's figure out who we're adding to this team because we have a death. We have an actual us death, which is weird because it's like literally hasn't happened for a long while. So who are we thinking about adding to this team? What kind of diversity does this team need becomes the question. A lot of me wants to add Katie. For that like rock fire kind of cool look to the team um and then also a lot of me wants to add sweetie pie to try and get like a f true f fairy type i can't add i can't add lulu even though lulu is freaking god goaded um but couldn't i can't do that But looking at this team, some of this team's biggest weaknesses are fire, ice, fire and ice are some of this team's biggest weaknesses to deal with. Yeah, um... Katie just seems like the responsible ad. If we can, if I can find like an air balloon or something, um, if it actually does the air balloon actually just pop after use? Because if it does, then that's stupid. Um, or knowing Gothitelle freaking gets freaking eruption, we can add that. Definitely a lot of considerations here. Buttercup. Let's see their summaries. Ooh. Buttercup has a bad ability and stuff, so no. I have to go to the bathroom really bad. Okay. I, should. I can't make this decision right now, so I'll catch you on the flip side. Love you all. Bye.